This book looks like a fun one. Bugba and Bo, best friends. Oh, it's a baby and the puppy. Addie, was Theo your best friend? Well, we'll see what Bubba's best friend is, or Bo. And it's written by Kathy Appelt. Chapter one, meet Bubba. So this is Bubba. Bubba is the son of Big Bubba and Mama Pearl. Here is Bubba's mommy and daddy. He's a cowboy. Big Bubba. Right after Bubba was born, Mama Pearl wrapped him in his soft pink blankie and whispered into both of his soft pink ears, I love you, Bubba Jr. She sighed. He was the perfect little Bubba, just like you and Esme are, Addie. Esme was the perfect little Esme, and Addie's the perfect little Addie. Big Bubba was just plum tickled. He kissed that boy right on top of his head. Then because he was so excited, he went outside and revved up Earl, his trusty pickup truck, and honked the horn as loud as he could. Woo toot, toot toot, toot toot. His license plate says his name, Earl. He was happy he had a baby Bubba. Chapter two, meet Bo. Bo is the puppy of Maurice and Evelyn. When Bo was born, Evelyn licked him from the top of his teeny round ears to the tip of his tiny red tail. He sighed. He was the perfect little puppy. Here's his mommy and daddy. Maurice and Earl. And here, lick, lick, lick that little puppy. Maurice was downright delighted. He ran around and around the yard in circles and finally, finally he couldn't stand it any longer. He threw back his head and began to beg. Oh, oh, I'm a daddy. One perfect baby, one perfect hound, and a lot of commotion. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. I think they live in Texas. Chapter three. It didn't take long for Bubba and Bo to become best friends. For one thing, they both went around on all fours and they were both keen on chewing. There's a little marker here. Neither one was house trained and they could howl to beat the band. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, oh. They also had a mutual affection for mud and a mutual disdain for soap. Sister, those two got along. Look at that pink blanket. They're hiding under it. Bubba and Bo. They are buddies. And there's Mama Pearl and the puppy's mama saying, we have to clean. Chapter four, Bubba had the best blanket ever. He loved his pinky pink color. He loved its cottony soft touch. And best of all, he loved its smelly smell. It smelled just like Bo. So Bubba likes the blanket because it smells like his puppy. Bo liked that blankie too. He loved its snappity snap sound. He loved its toasty warm warmth. And best of all, he loved its smelly smell. He says it smells just like Bubba. It smelled just like Bubba. Sister, that blanket was just right. Then one day, while Bubba and Bo weren't looking, Mama Pearl washed the blankie. 
Uh oh. It's pinky pink turned pale. It's cottony soft turned soggy. It's snappity snap turned flat. It's toasty warm turned shivery. Worst of all, it smelled like soap. Oh no, it was a sad day in Bubbaville. Wah, wah, I want my smelly blanket. Bo says, oh, oh, I want the smelly blanket. Chapter five, Mama Pearl hung the blankie out to dry. Since she was in the washing mood, she scooped up Bugba and gave him a nice hot bath. She used lots of soap. Then she collared Bo and gave him a bath. She used lots of soap on him too. When it was over, Bubba sat close to Bo. Bo smelled just like soap. Bo curled up next to Bubba and Bubba smelled just like soap. Mama Pearl took the dry blankie off the line and handed it to them. It was pinky pink, cottony soft, snappity snap, and toasty warm. The blankie was back. Oh, look how happy they are. Best of all, it smelled just like Bubba and Bo. Best friends. Good night. Oh, I like that one. That's a new one for Uma. I hope you liked it, girls.